Okay, so what happened here? <coughs> what happened here was Matthew wanted to make his rhythm playing sound, sound better, right? And it did need some work. He thought we needed more chords, but more chords wasn't going to help the problem. You guys were all correct in, in seeing that right away. That something else, more fundamentals, is going on here. Okay, we did need to get to the root. It's the only way to make him feel better. But he was becoming frustrated. Right? And it's very easy to be frustrated in, su in such a situation. Right? You're up here, you're nervous, you had to play at your Godfrey, you know, all that, all that stuff. Right? All the people are watching you. Right? That's not easy to do. It's not easy to do, right? So, as he's doing it, it wasn't improving right away. Because it took a while to get going, right? And he's starting to speed up. Right? So, as soon as he starts speeding up, what's he doing? He's making it harder for himself. So I had to make sure that he doesn't start getting faster and faster and faster and faster because he's shortening the amount of time that his brain and his hands have to get this going, and it, it, it's going to get worse, not better. Right? He's making it all worse. Okay? Not trying to, but that's, that's just simply what's happening. So I need to control his timing. So I came over, and I did this on his shoulder so he could feel it. If we had a metronome, we played it, I'm not so sure he'd be able to hear it yet and play with it. But if I'm doing this on his shoulder, now he's he has something, he has a physical sensation. So I'm saying it, so it's auditory, and he's feeling it, right? This is to get him to slow down and stay steady. Okay? Then I'm having to take his finger and lift it off, because he was like clamped down like this the entire time, so that means the cord was always present. It was, it was getting sloppy. So I squeeze, relax. When I told him to squeeze and relax, he wasn't squeezing and relaxing because he was concentrating on all this other stuff, right? So it's a lot for someone to think about. If you're still trying to get the timing down and the muting and the, all this, that's just too much. So I'm installing into his brain the mental processing skills required to do this stuff and separate the tasks. Okay? Then I felt that he was getting frustrated a little bit and I needed to coach him. Okay? I needed to, to let him know he's not leaving here until he gets a result. Not because he's going to be punished and have to stay after school. <laughs> not that kind of, not that way. But I had to let him know, I got your back. I'm with you every step of the way. You're going to get this. I can get you the result, and I'm going to make sure that you get it. Right? So I had to get inside of his head as he's getting less and less confident. Self-doubt comes in, nervousness, maybe embarrassment because he didn't get it right away. All this is swimming around in his head, and I, I need to, it's like a tornado, right? All this crap is spinning around. I need to stop this. Stop what's happening inside of his, you know, his emotions, his thinking. Let him know, I, I got you. I got your back. He's out there drowning in the ocean. And I got to swim out there, put my arm around him, and swim one-handed with him to shore to save his ass from drowning. Okay? And that, I don't know if you can see it because you're back there, but his eyes started to water. Right? When I got in his face... And looked right in his face and told him, look here, look at my face. I started the water. Right? On the verge of tears. Not because, oh, I suck, I feel so bad. Not those kind of emotions. Not, oh, shit, man, everyone's making fun of me. They're all laughing at me. They think I suck. It wasn't that. It was like, fuck, he's got my back. That was the feeling that came over him. Once that happened, fuck, I had him. Okay? Now, I've stopped this spinning of uncontrollable emotions going on inside him that's distracting him from playing. He knows I got him. Okay? I just put the life, the, what's that thing, uh, the white thing, the tube thing on the boat, the sort of, what's that called? I just threw the life preserver around him. And now we can get back to doing one, two, three, four. Okay? Now he's teachable. He, what happened was he became unteachable for a time. He was unteachable. I had to save his ass 
so he could become teachable again. And he did become teachable again, and he started to get it. He started messing up at the end, but for a while, he had it. Probably for the first time in his, in his life. Right? That was transformation for him. So the next time that he comes, he's going to do everything I say. And when that happens, he's going to really learn how to play guitar. Okay? Those are the kinds of things, as a teacher, that I would do in this type of situation. It's a tough situation, right? You're expecting somebody to do a lot that's beyond where they're able to do right now, but we somehow get a, get, we've got to get them on the right path, right? We, we, we got to know we got you. We got you, man. I'm not giving up on you. It makes all the difference in the world. <laughs>